Welcome to part 18, which is the last video in this simple multiplayer tutorial set. Alright, so what's happened is we've basically learnt a little bit about the high-level API, so Unity's tutorial. Uh, they showed us a little bit of it. Of course, it's not enough to build any released game. They haven't showed us how to use, uh, well, port forwarding anyway is something we have to figure out on our own. But they haven't showed us, you know, how to use any custom UI or anything like that in this tutorial. It's just simply on the local computer just to get some uh, basic uh, knowledge on the multiplayer system. Now, some important things that we did learn uh, were using commands and client RPCs. So the commands, they're called on the client and then executed on the server. And client RPCs are called on the server and then invoked on clients. We also saw a little bit about sync vars and using hooks as well. And so what that was is that with a sync var, the variable is kept in sync from the server to the clients. And whenever the value changes on the client, then the special hook function is called and is run on the clients. Uh, we also saw these various network components in use. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of others. We haven't used them. And hopefully we'll get to see them in the future when tutorials, uh, more tutorials are made by Unity Technologies for those. Uh, so and the last one that we ended with was the network start position. All right, so good work following along and uh, developing this simple uh, game pretty much. And I guess thank you for watching and I hope you continue to learn more and more. And I wish you the best of luck.